Welcome to this Active Inspire lesson. In this lesson, we are going to spend time taking a look at the text tool, the shape tool, and some of the object tools. So let's get right into it. I have my page browser open, and I can resize my page browser. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, and I'm going to head to this first page. The text tool is on your main toolbox, which um, again, inspires a customizable environment. So for me, it's dock to the right, but it might be in a different place for you. If I click on my text tool, which looks like the letter T, you can see it right there, you will notice that uh, a formatting menu will appear. And this is a standard formatting menu. Looks a lot like any other formatting menu you might see in a word processor like Microsoft Word or Google Docs. And so you'll be familiar with some of um, the purposes or what those different formatting options are for. So um, the very first thing you do if you want to place text on your page, after you select the text tool, you click anywhere on the page. And you're going to notice that what appears is a text box. And the words type here are highlighted, so I can just start typing and it will override the words uh, that, that say type here. So I'm going to type in parts of the cell. Now notice that it is blue text and the background is yellow. That is because if you look up at my current settings, um, this particular palette is your text color, which can be changed. And this is your background color, and that's the background of your text box. And this is my current font size. So if I want to get rid of this text box and just start all over because I'm really hoping for something different, I could, of course, refresh the page, which would bring me back to my last save version. Or I could undo with this option here. So I'm going to un click undo a couple times and oh, I couldn't get back that far. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my select tool, click on my text box and hit delete on my keyboard. So back to the text tool. And let's say what I really wanted is I want, I didn't want any background color. Then I would put no color in the background in my text box. And I wanted my text to be yellow. And I wanted um, it to be aerial but bolded, and I want it to be really big, so it's going to be a header. So I'm going to click here, and now I can type in parts of a cell. So if I want to change formatting later, what I could do is I could double click on any part of this, or I could select it all if I can click near that L and drag it over. And to change a part of this, you have to highlight then, and then you make a change. So let's say I want it to go with the green text. So now if I click off of there, it is green font. Now, um, you can really only um, type in your text, and you can adjust your, uh, your text box. So for example, if you look up at my box up here, it looks like it's very long and I have a background color and it looks like my text is centered in that box. So if I wanted to center this in my text box, I would go like that. And then while you're on the text, text tool, you do have the option of hovering over this X to move it around on your page. You can also go to your select tool and you can move text around on your page. So I'm going to place that right there. Now I'm going to um, make a second text box. So I'm going to click here. And I am going to click on my page. And now I can see that if this is going to be sort of a subtext or if my I don't want it the same size as my header. So what I'm going to probably is poke this down to a smaller size so I can do one of the presets or I could type in a size. Uh, I think I'll go with 72. And I want it to be a bulleted list. So I'm going to choose filled circles. And I want it to be white. So you got to make some choices. So I'm going to write down the names of some cell parts. And Oops, I'm just return. 
All right, now note that if I go to my select tool, you get these handles and you can stretch or you can narrow your text boxes and that's going to influence um, how much word wrapping you get. And in this case, it's a list of names, so I want it nice and wide so they don't word wrap. And I wanna move this to the center of my page. So um, that is how you format and you place text on a page. If you go to the next page of your, um, the next page of your uh, flip chart that I've provided to, for you, you will notice that there are page notes and there's some exercises, you might wanna stretch this, that you can do to practice the text tool. And then you'll do the task for this assignment. Good luck.